Salt Strong Nation! Joe Simons here, keeping calm and fishing strong. What do you think about that shirt? And ignore the stains, by the way, on my shirt. I just noticed those. Uh, that is proof that I have been watching the kiddos uh, most of the last 24 hours. Um, anywho, uh, this is a Salt Strong newsletter, and first and foremost, if you missed my Facebook Live on Friday afternoon, my golly, what an awesome online fishing tournament. This is the first month we're doing it for the insiders only on that new platform, the new app we have. And uh, I'll show you the pictures. Uh, number one in first place currently with, uh, what, I guess just a week left, uh, Brett Cox with a massive, massive snook that he caught here this month. And then a uh, PJ Jensen, in second place, awesome snook as well. Uh, Dave Ali uh, with a nice red fish. And Austin Campbell with a beast of a bull red. And I believe those two, the last time I checked this morning, they were tied for third place. And then we have Daniel Horton uh, sitting there right behind. So it's any anyone can win this. Uh, down here in the final countdown the last few days. And I'll continue to do updates. For those of you who don't know about it, it is a completely free tournament for our insiders, and every month we're going to do this. And we even have a raffle. So just for submitting any picture, just one picture, you're automatically entered in the raffle. We're giving a new TFO rod. Uh, but first place in the tournament is getting a new Daiwa Fuego 3000 reel. And I believe second place is getting some, uh, some swag and gear. And then third place is getting a whole box of all of our favorite uh, lures, all of our favorite soft plastics, hooks, etc. So check that out. And you can go to community dot saltstrong.com community dot saltstrong.com and actually see it all there on desktop as well including all the regional reports and all the stuff that we're doing there it's awesome uh, stay tuned for some big news on that app but let's get right into it into all of the best tips from last week so you don't miss out on anything first and foremost how to catch redfish in your trout spots this was a question that came up a lot from both insiders and not insiders uh, just asking hey i'm in a spot where i'm catching a lot of trout there should be redfish here how do i catch them and ca answers that uh, number two how to rig mullet to catch tarpon with peter miller all about how to properly rig mullet if you're really going to be targeting uh, tarpon here this summer uh, number three the key to rigging live bait for the inlets and passes how you rig live bait in the inlets and passes is different than if you are fishing a flat with not much moving water. Uh, that's with Captain Peter Deeks. And then a crab run special. Luke went out and showed how to catch pass crabs. That's something we don't do that often, but man, it is so easy and it's actually fun even for the kids. If you got young kids though, usually you're gonna be in places around bridges, a lot of moving fast water, big passes with big sharks. Put your kids in a, 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 PD, a, a personal flotation device, a PFD, not PDF. And uh, just make sure they're safe out there. If they're bending over in the water, um, it happens. Sometimes you do fall in. But the last thing you want as a kid, you know, moving that quickly in that kind of fast water, even if you're that close to them, uh, man, it's just it's smart. So make sure your kids do have personal flotation devices if you let them bend over with a, uh, a scoop net or a dip net, picking up those, uh, those crabs. Uh, next, Tony went out on the lake you know as this insider fishing club continues to grow and expand i mean we're getting people all over the state of florida and texas and georgia mississippi alabama and even places like tennessee and the carolinas and a lot of people around atlanta georgia uh, that do a lot of saltwater fishing, but also do a lot of freshwater fishing you know on the weekdays and even weekends where they can't get over uh, to the coast so Tony went out and showed how you can quickly, um, he went out and caught some nice bass just using a lot of his saltwater gear and, uh, and gave some really cool tips on just going out there and catching some largemouth bass. We'll continue to do that. That was a, a really uh, a well-received and a lot of people were viewing that one. And uh, I like that one as well because uh, I live near, uh, near a lake and it's uh, nice just to you know, know that you can go out there and catch some, uh, some bass. We don't have time to hit the, hit the saltwater. Uh, and then finally, a big snook and tarpon on near shore reefs and wrecks. Uh, I was actually there for that one with Luke. And uh, yeah, I mean, we had a just a killer day. And this was all, uh, I mean, you could have kayaked out there. It was literally that close. And it was just a reef, a completely public reef that we found on the, the Florida site that post all the different reefs. So if you want that, uh, we'll put a, a link in, in, a, in the post below so you can see exactly how to go out there and find really 
awesome, productive reefs really, really close to you without having to go out 15 or uh, 20 miles. Now, on the public side of things, Tony did a reel review. It's the Shimano Nasky spinning reel review. Check that out if you're interested in getting a new spinning reel anytime soon. Uh, we talk, talked about how to tie the Albright special knot. That was one that we had a few questions on, so did an in-depth uh, uh, knot post on how to tie the Albright special knot. Then uh, another review, the All-Star Inshore, uh, Inshore Rod. So that was one of their Inshore series of rods made by All-Star. Uh, that was another one that a lot of people asked about, so we did a post on that. Next, best knots of all time. We're going to continue to keep putting this in here because we're continually adding to this and making updates as we find better knots. So always check that out if you're looking for strong knots. Uh, we also had Peter Miller's amazing tarpon video. A lot of people didn't get to see that. I think we posted on a, on a Friday and a lot of people missed it. So we wanted to repost that when that was where he caught a, you know, about 125 pound tarpon in downtown Miami all by himself. It was an amazing catch. You got to see that. The next we're hiring. We need some help. Uh, as Salt Strong continues to grow and as we continue to put out more content and more stuff for our insiders and more how to's, more tutorials, more webinars and more in-depth courses, we're really needing a full-time videographer and an editor. So please check that out. Check out that job posting. If you know anyone, please forward it along to them. And then finally, Grouper Mastery. It goes live tomorrow, and we're going to have an incredibly special deal for people that join the VIP early bird list. It doesn't cost anything to get on the list. You're not held accountable. Or you don't have to buy it. It just gives you the ability to get in at the all-time crazy. I think it's like 63% off we're giving it to the VIP early birds just for a couple days. And once again, that starts tomorrow. So if you're interested in catching more grouper, especially bottom fishing grouper this summer, please get on that early bird list. And then finally, we had the Fish Strong podcast. Thank you all so much for all the love, all the support, all the people that are subscribing. Thank you so much to that Fish Strong podcast on iTunes. This thing continues to keep growing, and uh, we had a really, really cool interview with Catch 'Em All Fishing. The guy is literally killing it, and if you're interested in growing a brand, growing you know a YouTube channel, actually like quitting your job and starting something in the fishing world, I mean he's basically telling you what he did. It's the blueprint on how he did it. And now, I mean, I, he didn't tell me exact numbers, but he alluded to them. I mean, he's making somewhere between twenty and thirty thousand dollars a month just from posting YouTube videos. I mean, that is freaking phenomenal. Uh, so go check that out. You can learn a lot from that guy on growing a social media presence and even just growing a business online. So check that one out. That is it. Stay tuned this coming week for the Grouper Mastery Course. Make sure to get on that early bird VIP list. We have a whole lot more tips for our insiders. And also in July, we'll, we'll be announcing some other really big things we're doing for the Salt Strong fishing club thank you all so much for all of the feedback all the survey responses have been amazing and we're taking that really really seriously so thank you so much again enjoy the week tight lines everybody